Uh, at the moment, well, this is a video to show the the Hobby King 2.4 gigahertz remote controller and uh, a little Shark emulator board, and then that's that's, that's getting the so the um, so the signal comes from this and it goes into this. And then from there it goes into these wires here. And this processes it. And then it spits out to that. So at the, and the power for it. So the power for it's there. It goes into a, my the power plug at the front. And um, and. Uh, I'm in this chair at the moment. This is my main chair for getting around. And uh, if you can see, we're turning around. Now this is this is by the this is by the, the main joystick. So if I put the camera down for a second, Alright, this, this is now this is now powered by the chair and this the chair you can see it's in an error code. So that's that's that it's no longer communicating, so we'll just turn that off. And the the joist the uh, the joystick is turned the transmitter turned off and so there's there's a, a little light that comes on there when it's working so there's that that light there is blinking to say I'm not getting a signal and the board maybe you can't see it too well but there you go that's that's the on light but it's got no signal so if I turn the transmitter on now that'll go solid that's the RC light and there's still only one light on the board here now if I press the, the channel 3 which is this button here that puts it in the startup mode and it op operates the other LED. And then I'm now driving with this. So and uh, so, so sorry, it's a bit hard to see, but um. This is the chair I use to get around in, and like, you know, so can't can't really do anything else. Um, but anyway, so that's it. It's um, work, this working forward. Uh, at the moment, the um, I've changed the values on this uh, turn rate, so that's the maximum turn speed. The chair will actually turn quite faster than this, but I've constrained the values in the uh, Arduino code so that it doesn't doesn't turn as fast. Uh, however, forwards and backwards is still at its uh, at its maximum. Um, so there we go. Um, so the the power coming in comes in through the. That XLR plug there comes in through that plug there, comes into the board, and so it goes goes there from from there. Go, that's a Traco power regulator, and that's just a smoothing capacitor. And the, underneath there's a RS485 chip and a DG419 switch. The DG four one nine is used for the startup pulse, and um, the other thing that I've uh, it's, it's set up to do is that um, if you can see the signals here, if I turn the remote off, it'll turn itself into failsafe. So that's that's shut down the uh, 
It's flashing there, it's got no signal. So it's gone to fail safe now, so nothing's going to happen. The chair doesn't. This is fully powered at the moment and it's not going anyway. anyway. And then if I turn it back on again, so this is turned off at the moment, if I turn it back on again, you see the light come on. That's gone solid again. And that is only the one indicator light. So I've got to press channel 3 again to turn it on. And then it's, and then it's up and running. And we're moving. So that's, that's it. And I'll go back inside now. Thank you for watching. Bye.